Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. In this video, I'm in Los Angeles eating at one of the best all you can eat Japanese A5 Wagyu hot pots in the country. I mean, this place, the presentation, the way the Japanese A5 Wagyu is delivered to your table, you gotta check this out. But before getting to that, I just wanna give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is one of the only applications I use on my phone, my laptop, 24 7, 365. I never turn it off. And if you're not utilizing a VPN service right now, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. There are many reasons I use Surfshark VPN. The biggest is security. Nowadays, all our personal information online and there's so many people trying to gain access to it. From data aggregators who are collecting it to sell to marketing companies, or people trying to gain access to your emails, your bank accounts. So you gotta protect yourself. In a VPN, it's a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it secures and encrypts your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people who are trying to gain access to your personal information, they're not gonna be able to gain access to it. Also, it's extremely valuable when you're traveling, you're going to different cafes, airports, train stations. You're accessing a lot of public Wi-Fi hotspots. And usually these are not very secure. They tell you they're not very secure. It just gives you peace of mind. And when you have Surfshark, it just gives you peace of mind. And if you're traveling abroad, let's say you want to access your U.S. streaming services, you can use Surfshark VPN to change your location back to the U.S. So you never miss your favorite TV shows or movies. By the way, the new One Piece live action, amazing. And it's not just streaming sites. A lot of times when you want to access major U.S. websites like banks to pay your bills, they don't even function normally. Normally. So bill payment is something else I use Surfshark VPN for. Also, Surfshark has something called Surfshark Alerts. So when someone is trying to gain access to something like your email, you will be notified right away. And the best part is so affordable. If you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Mikey Chan. You'll get 83% off your order plus three additional months for free. That's peace of mind for less than a cup of coffee and definitely less than a bubble tea a day. And the best part, try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for any reason, get your money back. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Los Angeles. It seems like every time I come back here, there's a new amazing buffet that pops up. And this one is especially exciting because it's an all-you-can-eat A5 Japanese Wagyu buffet. This is the new restaurant by Chubby Cattle, and it's both A5 Japanese Wagyu and M9 Australian Wagyu, both of the highest quality. And there's three different menus you can choose from, silver, gold, and diamond. I got the diamond, and as soon as you sit down, appetizers brought over, I see some marinated spicy beef, some kimchi salad. So with Diamond, they bring over a smoky box of meat. Inside there's Wagyu Old Toro. There's also the tender beef. There's beef ribs, beef tongue. And with the box, you can get anything on the menu. And there's a lot of stuff. There's cucumber salad, there's pickle radish, there's Wagyu sando, beef tartare, shrimp tempura, sweet shrimp. There's also a bunch of different nigiris and six types of seafood, including lobster. And all this for diamond, 88 US dollars. This is extremely worth it already. First bite, Wagyu Old Toro. That is pure A5 Wagyu. Oh, that thing is so melty. That was Wagyu beef belly. That was the fattiest part. And I'm gonna have to go kind of quick here. It's only 90 minutes. So you gotta eat as much as you can, as fast as you can. This next cut, A4 short rib. Slightly less melt in your mouth, but bigger beefy flavor. And oh, so juicy. There's also Wagyu tongue, and I got here a couple slices of the timber tender beef, and look at that beautiful marble pattern in the tender beef. I tried all the dipping sauces. It's good, but really, a little bit of salt. That's really all you need. That's a mesmerizing cut of meat. Mm. Every single bite so far has been melt in your mouth.
Wagyu tongue. Mm. That tongue is so snappy. It's so snappy and tender. Because Wagyu is so marbled, adding a little bit of acid sometimes makes it better. I personally like a little fresh wasabi, but these little pickles and chili, that works pretty well too. Oh, this place is so good. Whoa, this plate of appetizer with the marinated beef. Oh my gosh, that's tender. They do have certain limited quantity items. So if you ever come here, I recommend getting those on the first round right away. And that includes some of the nigiri, definitely the lobster tail. Then take a bite of something with a little bit of acid. You'll enjoy your beef way more this way. Next cut that's ready, the most tender and flavorful cut, rib fingers. Every single bite, it's just pure beef butter. And that's also the problem with all you can eat A5s. So you gotta cleanse your palates often. So luckily there's some kimchi here, some salad. You'll enjoy your beef way more this way. Next piece that's ready, skirt steak. That is a juicy, juicy piece of skirt steak. Not a single bad bite of beef. And I love how each piece just glistens. Skirt steak, a lot less fat, a lot more beef flavor. Mm. And I love the little bits of char on the side as well. There's also sushi on the menu as well. So when you're ready to take a break from the Wagyu, eat a piece of sushi, old Toro no less. El Toro, fresh wasabi on top. That's like going from beef butter to ocean butter. Look at this. Beef uni nigiri. Fresh uni on top of Wagyu. How decadent can you get? This is just the ultimate in decadence. If you come here, we gotta get that. Melt in your mouth, thinly sliced fatty wagyu with a delightfully sweet and creamy sea urchin on top. Again, I can't believe this is $88. This is such a deal. No wonder this place is lying out the door every single day. Next up, grilled oysters with chili and garlic. I love how much awesome seafood they have on this buffet. Just put down a chuck eye cut. This is another super expensive item. This is the sweet shrimp sushi. Mm. Beautiful natural sweet flavor with some wasabi on top. This stuff even on sale is like 50 bucks a pound. And it's huge. This is the chuck eye cut. Look how nice and fatty this is. Mm. Zero single bag cut of beef. Something else fun just showed up. Wagyu beef sundo. And what looks like a Wagyu katsu on the inside. Oh, it's so good. Mm. The breading for the katsu is nice and crunchy. It's like a Wagyu hamburger patty on the inside. A scallops just got here. Next up for me, some Wagyu fried rice. I'm assuming this is cooked in the fat of the Wagyu. You know, last time I was at a Chubby Cattle location, I had their Wagyu fried rice. I liked it then, I still like it now. Especially when I can add more Wagyu on top. That is richly satisfying. Definitely need a little bit of chilies in here. I'm gonna call this combination the Bezos. Take a little seafood break. A little scallops. Ah, oh, so sweet. I think the lobster is ready too. Barbecue lobster. That took a while to cook, but that came out pretty darn good. I'm saving a little piece of lobster. I think I'm gonna wrap it with a piece of wagyu. Wagyu lobster. You gotta try that. As you chew that delicious buttery marbling, steeps into that sweet lobster. Oh, such a sweet, smoky, buttery bite. Mm. 
Normally, if you go to a restaurant and your meal includes lobster and A5 Wagyu, it's gonna be a pretty steep bill. My 90 minutes is almost up, but the servers are really attentive. They move very fast. So I was able to do about four rounds of beef and seafood. Last round, cube steak. The cube steak is so juicy because you're able to sear all around it. All that juice is trapped in the beef. Oh. That's so, so juicy. And when you're finally done with everything, there's ice cream. Mango ice cream. Mm, ice cream's really good too. Like I said, not a single bad bite at this buffet. Also, just looking at the menu, the biggest difference between diamond and gold, when you go to the gold menu, you don't get the limited items. But I think even without the limited items, getting the gold menu, which I think is about $20 cheaper, you get a lot of what's on the diamond menu. So I think that's the most worth it menu option. But whatever menu item you get, this is one of the most worth it buffets I've ever been to, especially in the US. I always compare buffets to Vegas. Bacchanal, I think is about $80 for dinner. And you're not getting lobster, you're not getting Wagyu. Definitely not El Toro. This, 100% worth it. Gotta come here give it a try. Hey guys, my last night here in Southern California, just found out about this place, so I'm going here for dinner. It's an all-you-can-eat Filipino buffet with lobster. I am so excited for whatever I am at a Filipino buffet because first of all, I've said this many a times, Filipinos are the friendliest people. I was late getting here, they still let me in and let me eat because I look hungry, which I am. This is sea bass tanola, which is a very popular soup in the Philippines. Usually made with some ginger. Oh, this is so light and good. This soup tastes like it has super healing powers. It's mild, super nice fish flavor. This just feels so nice going down. Also got some garlic noodles, barbecue pork, lumpia, fresh fried calamari, fried butterfish, and some beef tapa. This is the first time I've seen the beef tapa in some kind of creamy sauce. That is so good. One thing I love about beef tapa, as you shoot more and more flavor releases, and it just tastes better and better. And this definitely does that. Chase that with some garlic noodles. That's spectacular, by the way. Creamy and super garlicky. Calamari's delicious. These are so good as well. Super light, airy, crispy spring rolls. Mmm. Although it's a restaurant, when you walk inside, it feels like I walked into someone's house. Everyone is so friendly and warm. Mmm. Oh, this barbecue pork is so awesome. All the food tastes like it's made with care and love. Second plate, lobster, chicharron, and lechon kawali. I mean, I love lobster, and this looks amazing. But that chicharron in that lechon, I might be more excited for that. I mean, look at the lechon. Beautifully roasted. Look at that glistening fat. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Got a piece with fat and meat in that crispy skin. Oh. I mean, this thing is crispy where it's meant to be crispy, fatty where it's meant to be fatty, it's tender where it's meant to be tender. Mm. That's just a perfect combination of texture, flavor, meat, and fat. Especially with our homemade spicy dipping sauce, gives it a little acid. These are fried intestine. Oh, man. So crispy with a bit of an organy flair. Mm. This thing is so crispy. And when you take a bite, it just disintegrates under your tongue. Oh. Into a puddle of fatty, organy juice. This lobster looks incredible. Oh my gosh. I've never been to a Filipino buffet that had lobster outside of the Philippines. And this just looks surreal. Look at that. Oh. Creamy curry sauce with a bit of heat, some gingers and scallions. Scrape up some of the innards of the lobster right here. That's the good stuff with this curry sauce. 
Mm. That's the best one. That's better than a lobster meat. Mm. That tail, it's just so sweet. And all that sweetness is just accentuated by this delicious curry sauce. Make sure you dig all that inner goodness out of the lobster. Mm. Oh, look at this one. Tons of roll in here as well. Mm. I mean, I've had lobster roll before, but with this curry sauce, especially mix some of that innards in with it, mm. that just knocked you out of your boots good. It's soup time. I've never had this soup before. This is a very common innard soup in the Philippines, and there's a lot of meat and tripe and intestines. was my favorite thing. It's super meaty and they clean the intestines very, very well. No funk in this whatsoever. The tripe is nice and snappy. It's the perfect amount of organy. There's also vinegary, which I love. That's one reason I love Filipino food so much. As fatty as some dishes are, there's a ton of vinegary elements to balance it out. And this dish, if you're not a fan of intestines, this might be a little gnarly to you, but this soup is not one of my favorite Filipino dishes. Like I said, this is such a warm and welcoming place. The owners I met, both so incredibly friendly. It's like they welcomed me into their home. It truly feels like that. And the food tastes like that as well. This place has only been open for a few months and everywhere I go, I always look out for Filipino buffets because when it comes to Filipino dishes, there's just so many I like and I don't want to deal with food regret. This meal, especially that last soup, just made me feel so warm and comfortable. Perfect last meal here in Los Angeles.